Hello, my name is Gord Alton, a trained spiritual director for 20 plus years now and a certified psychospiritual therapist within the College of Registered Psychotherapists of Ontario. I've also been a student for 14 years now of the Diamond Approach, a spiritual work school where I personally attend and work on my own personal growth and transformation. This fall, I'm offering two Saturday retreats to a Renaissance University College at the University of Waterloo. The first retreat is titled Longing for Wholeness, The Theory of Holes. Every human being has spiritual longings for love, grace, truth, strength, power, confidence, compassion, wholeness, and so on. We often have a deep sense that there's something missing inside us, something wrong with us maybe, that we're incomplete somehow. The theory of holes provides an understanding of the Christian doctrine of human fallenness that opens up a contemporary way of understanding what it means to work intentionally at our spiritual journey toward home and God and with ourselves. In this retreat, we will explore how this theory of holes applies to our own life and how the experience of divine compassion is essential for us to begin our journey home to God and ourselves. In the November retreat titled Inner Freedom, Getting Space from the Inner Critic, we will explore the inner critic. The inner critic is a painful dynamic that includes self-critical thoughts, voices, and our feelings that confuse us and reminds us often of how bad or incompetent or weak or useless we are. During the morning session, we will investigate the different ways this inner critic messes with our lives and keeps us from experiencing what we truly are longing for, whether it be inner peace, love, freedom. In the afternoon session, we will learn and practice strategies that keep people help people confront their inner critic and regain some power over it. Each of the two sessions of each retreat will follow a similar format on Zoom. At first, people find such workshops a little scary for people who are not used to talking about such personal spiritual things. But once things get going and people start to trust one another, people find these spiritual conversations quite rich and meaningful. I know I do. So I hope you'll join us. Blessings.